Once upon a time, pro-life meant you valued all life, and all lives matter meant that you valued protecting all life. But every passing day, it seems that these two terms are among the largest contradictions in the public sphere. The voices that scream all lives matter are suddenly quiet when it comes to Syrian refugees escaping dictatorships and Western bombs. They're quiet when it comes to Christian Latin American asylees traveling 2,000 miles by foot for a better life. They're quiet when 85,000 Yemeni children are starved to death this year alone due to a blockade by Western bombings. They're silent when over 500,000 Muslim civilians are killed in the Middle East due to Western bombings. They're quiet as American children are eviscerated by mass shooting after mass shooting at schools. They're quiet when Jamal Khashoggi's murder walks free without any accountability. They're quiet at the epidemic rates of sexual abuse women suffer and at the horrific disappearance of Native American women. They're quiet as black Americans are killed at epidemic rates by police. They're quiet at the unjust murders of Jamal Robertson, Emantic Bradford, Ayanna Jones, and Sandra Parks. Pro-life and all lives matter doesn't seem to apply to marginalized communities or people of color. Instead, pundits are now promoting the propaganda that the caravan of migrants is a caravan of disease, echoing verbatim the exact same dehumanizing rhetoric the Nazis used against the Jews leading up to the Holocaust. The department warns migrants who came with the caravan are suffering from respiratory infections, tuberculosis, chickenpox, and other serious health issues. They promote this propaganda despite the fact that the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health just published a two-year study proving that migrants don't bring disease, they actually fight disease and they improve our economy. It seems that pro-life and all lives matters applies to a fertilized egg only. This shouldn't be a conservative or a liberal issue. This is a human rights issue. If you truly believe in the sanctity and value of all life, then you need to act like it. What does that look like? That means including Syrian Muslim refugees. That means including Christian Latin American refugees. That means including Yemeni children. That means including Muslim civilians escaping bombs. That means including Native American women who are disappearing at exponential rates. That means including women who are suffering sexual abuse. That means including black Americans who are being killed by police. That means including American kids who are suffering from gun violence. That means including journalists who are being killed for the crime of reporting and journalism. That means including resources for marginalized communities to live a better life. In this matter of life or death, it's about time that all lives matter and pro-life truly included all humanity. Otherwise, it's pure hypocrisy.